Now, an election is scheduled in May in Ukraine to replace that overthrown president. Two leading candidates met today with U.S. and European officials in Paris, but before they went there, they sat down with Clarissa Ward, who's been covering the revolution for us. Clarissa? Well, Scott, I think really what this latest lobbying effort shows is what an unusual mix of leadership uh, Ukraine's revolution is. You have Petro Poroshenko, who's a billionaire who made his fortune in chocolate. He's a likely candidate for prime minister. And then you have Vitaly Klitschko, one of the front runners to be the next president. He's a retired heavyweight boxing champion. You've said before, no fight, no win. No fight, no win. So are you ready to fight? Yeah, I fight for my country. I fight for the future. I fight for democracy. And uh, I fight for the justice. And uh, I'm not alone. When the billionaire Poroshenko flew down to Crimea on his private jet to negotiate, he was chased away by an angry pro-Russian mob. This may be the revolution's biggest challenge yet, a showdown with a much more powerful neighbor. Do you want to see America take stronger action against Russia? Uh, my answer would be America should use all the instruments which have in their disposal. Including to stop, force? To stop the war. Including force? All instruments. Sounds like, Clarissa, he's asking the U.S. to intervene militarily. Well, he's not asking for that to happen just yet. But what he does want to see is for America to at least put that card on the table in case they are not able to come to a diplomatic resolution with Russia. Clarissa, thanks very much. You can see Clarissa's interviews and more on the Ukrainian revolution this Sunday on 60 Minutes.